Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is for the sign of Gemini. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you so I am only going to shuffle it for a little bit and I do need to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? It's not a private reading. This is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, then it wasn't meant for you. Somebody that's watching this, it will resonate with, okay? This is for the sign of Gemini. And I will make sure this is zoomed in correctly once I have the cards laid out. Move it. Keep going. Smokey, I apologize. My cat thinks he's in charge. I think he'll probably lay down right there. is for the sign of Gemini. The basis of your reading is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I apologize, but I'm going to let him out because if I don't, he's, he really thinks he's in charge. Come on. He changed his mind. We live in Alaska. We don't really live in Alaska, but it feels like Alaska. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this in while I'm up. He's, he'll jump back up here, and I do apologize. He's a pain in the ass. Anyhow, so interruptions. I have to let you guys know that every single thing that happens during one of my readings is meant for you. Now that we've had this happen, it tells me that you guys are going to have some interruptions this week, okay? Really pay attention to the signs in your life, okay? Now I'm telling you that. Every single word that comes out of my mouth is meant for you, okay? It is. Trust me, all right? So, we do have the tower here. The tower tells me that something could come crashing down. Something could be revealed that is a shock to you, all right? Something you may have thought was going well probably really isn't, okay? So be prepared. Be prepared. I see that there could be some lies, all right? We have the devil card. The devil does not bring in good things, okay? He does not, okay? So just be ready. Be prepared. All right, be prepared for anything. And I'm not trying to scare you, but I just need to tell you that when the devil is here, it's connected right to the tower card that something was false. There's a falseness here somewhere. Something is was either a lie or it wasn't true. Secret could become revealed that <coughs> hurts, okay? Something could happen that hurts. I just, I mean, I'm honest and that's the way it goes. The thing is, is that it's a blessing in disguise, and it's gonna, it's probably gonna cause you to really have to focus. You are going to need to focus. All right. There is some some obsessions here, whether they're yours or somebody else's. There is definitely some obsessions. Could be an obsession to money. Could be an obsession to working or anything but love. This right here is not really that much of a love reading as of yet. I do see that there is a like, we do have the page of cups here, but I don't see any other. I don't see any other love here in this reading. This is intended to be a love reading. The only love card we have in this reading is the page of cups as of yet. The page of cup rep represents good news related to a relationship or a family member or even a child, okay? And it's usually welcome news, good news, okay? So, you know, this could have to do with a child. Um, it could have to do with a new relationship. 
there could be a new relationship coming out of this breakdown. So whatever is false, whatever comes crashing down, it is a blessing. Let it go. Let it crash. Go with the flow because it was false anyway. Okay? It was. You have the ability to refocus. And when you do, okay, there is happiness on the horizon. Happiness and love and a new chapter. You know, there is. And this is you. This is a man or a woman. And actually, we have them both. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So we have you here in this reading. And you are going to be happy in the end. You are. You're going to start a new phase. You will be successful. You will. Something has to be let go of. This is let go. Ten of Wands let go of. Whatever this is that needs to crash down, it must crash down. Because it's lies. It's not true. It's false. And it does not bring you good things. Okay? For some of you, there's addictions at play, okay? Somebody in your life, or you, has some addictions. And that's the way it is. With this card and this card, somebody has some addictions. That could be part of the breakdown. Maybe it comes to light. I don't know. Something, something is going to happen that is going to bring them some things out into the open. And it's not going to feel good. And I do apologize for bringing you this message. But I'm not going to make it butterflies and unicorns if it's not. Okay? Either way, this is a blessing in disguise. Because eventually, your wishes will be fulfilled. It's very positive in the future. But you have to get through this breakdown before you can get to the other side. Okay? You do. You have to struggle through it. It's just part of life. All right? I do see that many of you are thinking very practical. You know, you want to take a practical approach, but perhaps something needs to break down because you, you haven't done it yet. Um, I feel like there's a controlling... Um, somebody is being controlling. Somebody is trying to be in control. And, and not in a good way, okay? Somebody is trying to kind of like manipulate, you know what I mean? So I don't know if that's you or the other person, but I feel like somebody is trying to um, manipulate behind their stature, you know what I mean? They, they're thinking that they're better, you know what I mean? I, I can't think of the correct words, but that happens to me a lot. I feel like somebody feels like they are in authority, Okay, so I don't know if that's you or another person, but we have an, uh, we definitely have authority here. Somebody is taking authority, you know, and it's controlling. All right, somebody is trying to be controlling in a very big way. And I don't know if that's you or somebody else, but there's definitely some controlling energy here with these three kings. King, king, king. Somebody is feeling authoritative, like they are in charge and they are not going to back down. So whether it's you or the other person, somebody thinks that they, they aren't going to compromise. So I don't know if that's you or somebody else. There's like, I'm not going to compromise on this. All right. So I don't know if that's you or somebody else. But I feel like something needs to be let go. It's too heavy. It's too heavy to carry around. I don't know. I think it's a, I do think it's a person. There needs to be a choice. Maybe there's a choice between a child and a partner. Maybe children and a partner. You know, my, maybe somebody, you know, there's some kind of argument going on between children and families. You know what I mean? I'm not sure what's going on, but this, this could represent a child as well. But there's definitely some, um, controlling uh, going on within your life. Somebody is being very controlling. And they're lying. They're manipulating. Somebody's manipulating. And, and they're pretending. It's almost like a narcissistic kind of thing. And I'm, I'm sorry to say that. I don't, think, I don't think it's you. I don't know. I don't know. What it it's almost like somebody thinks that they are better and they will do anything to make you believe that you are not good enough. You know what I mean? What I'm trying to say is that you're, you're in the wrong. 
you're wrong and they will do anything to make you believe that so i don't know where that's coming from but that's how i feel there's some obsessive behavior here and somebody is like pretending like that they're right so i don't know who that is but i'm gonna start shuffling the next deck um, this is for the week of November 13th to the 19th. This is intended to be a love reading. What do you have for love? We're looking for love here. Many of you are really focusing on everything but love right now. Okay, because I think there's some struggle in your love life. There's, I do see there's some struggle in your love life. Because that fell out, I have to go with it. Um... There is unnecessary drama in your life. Oh my goodness. So many of you could have several people involved in this situation. You may have more than one choice in love. Okay. There's definitely several people involved. Some of this is family oriented. It's between mothers and daughters and fathers and that kind of stuff. Okay. And some of it is in regards to having multiple people choices in regards to love not knowing where to go all right i feel like <laughs> there's been some kind or there's going to be a completion of something a relationship a relationship could be crumbling down it could be could be over with we definitely have some completions here some endings okay it's time to let go of something that is too heavy there's no need to be involved in that drama anymore there's not it's time to change, all right? <clears throat> it's kind of hard to juggle, if this is for you, two people, okay? It's kind of hard. If it's not for you, if, that part, if that's not the case, it's kind of hard to juggle between you and your child, you know? You know what I'm trying to say. It's kind of hard to go back and forth between this person and that person and, you know, trying to please everybody. It's kind of hard to please everybody. All right. And I feel that for many of you, it's time to start a new chapter and the universe is on your side because I consider the tower card part of the universe. I think the universe is here to say, okay, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm going to, I'm going to help these people out because this is bullshit. Somebody has been lying and they're getting away with it and it's been, there's been too much control. You know, things are out of control. <laughs> All right, and it's time for, time for a change, okay? So I think it's time to bring the balance back to your life, and it's time to, for you to focus on the change. It's time for you to refocus on your path. It's time for you to make a decision, okay? It's time for you to make a choice, and it's time for you to take action more than anything, okay? With, the, with these wands cards, you have the king of wands and the queen of wands. Okay, right here's the king. That's the basis of your reading. And here's the queen of wands. The, so this is telling me that you need to take action. Okay. It's going to take confidence. It's going to take courage and it's going to take determination to remove yourself from this unnecessary drama and bring balance back to your life. But I'm telling you that once you take action and release what you don't need to carry around with you anymore, okay, once you release it, your wheel is going to spin. This card came out reversed, but I flipped it, okay, because I flip them because I don't need to do reversed. I, I do I, I do reversed. But I don't flip the cards. I know what comes out reversed. Okay? So, the wheel is not going to spin until you make a move. Alright? You have to take action. But, let me take that back. The, un the universe, the, well, the universe is the world card. But I consider the tower the world card. Because the tower brings in major life experience. Okay? Whether it hurts or not. So the tower is here, and it's a gift from the universe, which most people don't see it as a gift, but I do, because it's a blessing in disguise. It's going to spin that wheel for you. It's going to start your new chapter, which is going to be the practical chapter that you really want, okay? It's going to bring out the lies and the deceit. It might hurt. It might hurt. 
okay? There's a secret that could be revealed very soon, and it might hurt if it hasn't been revealed already. I have to remind you that time is fluid. This could have already happened. It is intended for November 13th to November 19th, but it could happen in December, okay? Because time is fluid. And this may not happen at all for you because this is not a private reading. This is a general reading. It is meant for somebody. I don't know who, but I know for a fact it's not meant for everybody, okay? If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video or my Let's Talk sessions that are on at night in the YouTube live streaming area of my channel. Um, I'm gonna get you three of these romance cards. Look at that, did three just come out? Just two. I, I barely even shuffled, but I'm gonna do it because when they fall out, I have to listen. Ooh, look at that. I'm a ooer. I'm gonna shuffle for this last one, see what happens. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's why the tower's there underneath it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I said, once this crash comes and once the lies come out or whatever the secret is, it's going to start your new chapter. And, and your, it is a blessing in disguise. Be patient. You don't need to rush into finding somebody else. If you're single and that's what you're looking for and that's what you're getting out of this reading. You don't have to rush. Getting to know each other. Like I said, don't rush. Don't rush. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Take the time to build a foundation. Mm. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. Oh, we have two more cards. I was only going to do three, but you guys got lucky. I, once they fall out, I cannot ignore them, as I have told you. Okay. Forgiving and learning. Forgive and heal the past to start your new chapter. Over here, we have the world card. You must forgive and heal. You must wait. You must be patient. You must not rush. Do not rush. Okay? Impulsiveness brings lies and deceit. Okay? It does. I just want to tell you, if you are patient, if you wait, if you forgive, you are going to learn the lesson that you need to learn. Okay? When the world card comes out, it means that a major lesson has been learned. Celebrate your success because you're about to start a new phase of your life. This is around the corner. This has not happened yet for most of you because you haven't done this hasn't the ta tower hasn't some of you it's happened, but for some of you it hasn't. Something needs to break down, come crashing down because it's a false, it's a lie. It's a false lie. Okay, and a secret could come out this week if it hasn't come out already or next week or the next week, okay, because time is fluid. Either way, you're going to have to forgive and learn, all right? You are. I know that you are. You're calling in your soulmate. You are. That's what you're doing right now, but you're rushing. Don't rush. Don't rush. You can't get them overnight. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Believe it. The universe is here. Divine intervention is here. With the tower card, the wheel card, the world card. I'm telling you right now. Divine timing is at work in your love life. If something needs to end, if you need to let go of something, if something crashes down, let it go. Calling in your soulmate. That's why you're in such a hurry. You want it so bad. How can you really get to know somebody if you're hurrying? Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Keep calling them in. Ask for the right one. 
Don't ask for the quickest one. Ask for the right one. And before you do that, make sure you are completely free of the, the chains that you are still stuck, whoever you're chained to, okay? I see that you are still chained to somebody, whether it's mentally or whatever. You ha you're still stuck somewhere that you have not freed yourself. So until you mentally free yourself from this devil, this new phase is not going to happen. But it is around the corner. The universe tower, this is also the universe, is here to help you. Let them. <laughs> so Gemini, that is what I have for you for this week, November 13th through November 19th. Remember, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And if you want to hear more, I do do Let's Talk um, episodes. They're like little shows where we all get together and you know, speak our mind. Tonight's going to be about spirituality and manifestation because it's 11-11. But anyway, enough about that. I will talk to you later.